Hi, I'm in Paris here. Yes, yeah, me, Errol Lawson, in Paris here with Zadi Diaz. Um, Zadi, um, great, great, great person. Um, happens to be uh, on the board of trustees for International Web Television. So I'm the, on the board of the International Academy of Web Television. That's it's awesome. Close, close. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're here in Paris. We're enjoying Paris. There's the Eiffel Tower right there yeah, in the background. Amazing. amazing view. And we're discussing leadership, everything leadership and cultural leadership. Um, but I thought I'd just ask Zadi the question about leadership and social media. Like, how can we, um, as young people, as young leaders, perhaps um, get a better understanding of social media as a tool for change and transformation around the world? Just to hear your views on that, Zadi. Well, I mean, I think the most important thing, when you get online, it's a little overwhelming because there's so much information and you don't know where to go, who to listen to. But I think the key word there is listening. And I think people have to take time to just absorb and kind of be in what's happening, right? It's, so it's almost like getting a book, reading it, and then digesting it. It's the same thing with the web. It's kind of like looking at it for what it is, seeing who's talking, getting in those conversations. Like, like let's say you're on Twitter, for instance. So most people don't understand what to do with it. But, you know, sign up for an account, follow 20, 10, 10, 20 people that you think are really, you know, influential in your area of expertise, whether it, or what, where you want to be in the next year or so. And just listen to the conversations happening there. And just kind of just digest it a bit. And then just start asking them questions. At Errol Lawson, what do you think about X? You know, or I found this article, what are your views on it? And just start asking questions of the people that you've been following for a while and just do that over and over. And then before you know it, you'll start being in that kind of circle of consciousness in a way. And then you start people having people kind of listening to what you're putting out there because all of a sudden you have time to digest all of that information, you know, process it into the work that you're doing and then how it applies to your life. And then all of a sudden you have a very unique perspective on something. And then you have something to contribute. So I think that's the one key thing, I think, more focused kind of advice that I can give rather than just, oh, do all of this stuff. Just, you know, pick one thing, listen to the conversations that are happening there, start asking questions there, and then start contributing. Let me ask you also about Facebook, Twitter. I love that Twitter example. Um, Facebook, um, slightly different tool. Can it be used in the same way? Facebook is a slightly different tool, it's still in social media, but I think that people can use Facebook in very different ways. Some use, people use Facebook just for kind of a personal, you know, place where they can connect with family and friends. Other people use it kind of a, more as a marketing tool. Some people have their Facebook fan pages where they kind of connect with people that are in the same area as they are. So it's the same kind of thing where it's like, let's say you are setting up a page and it's more about the emotion. It's still kind of, you have to let, have people have a reason to go there. So it's not that you're just pushing out content. You know, you're not just saying, hey, look at this, look at this, I'm doing this. Those people have kind of a, not short attention spans, but they value their time. So you have to give them value for their time. Right. So why are they going to be going to your page? What kind of information are you going to be imparting that's going to be valuable for them? That can be applicable also for them. That it's not just kind of something that's important to you and you don't realize it really doesn't apply to anyone else. So sharing information that then they can they can digest. So I think it's it's very similar to Twitter, so that you know you I think you have more time, you kind of have a you can have a page, you can have more of a presence there. Um, and people can kind of come and visit you and like your page and that kind of thing. Um, so I, I treat them differently but understanding that they're kind of in the same neighborhood. If if, if you know, social media is a land they're just kind of different different islands on this on this kind of like landscape. It's great man. It's great. It's great. <laughs> is there anything else? Um, another key thing um, you are speaking to a group of, say, um, I don't know, 18 to 30 young people who are trying to navigate this world of social media. Um, what is the key thing that they need, they need to bear in mind when trying to do that? Hmm. You know, I'm really weary of speaking for people. Right. <laughs> I'm speaking for, you know, a different, uh, kind of a, a generation that is, you know, I guess most people would call us digital natives, people that are kind of, you know, been been entrenched in the digital landscape kind of knows how to use it in their sleep in a way and I can put myself in that generation but at the same time when you're communicating with people I can't almost speak for them I think everybody uses it differently but what I can say is that um, I don't know I don't know I think it's evolving I, I don't know 
I think it's just a matter of openness. I think it's just a matter of making sure that you're not being aware when you're um, or, you know, when you're evangelizing things or ideas or uh, you know uh, making sure that you, there's not a sense of self-importance and it's more of a communal sense. Right. So I think, and I think that's universal. I think that's a universal kind of human quality. I don't think it depends on age. You know, I don't think it's a you know just silo it off to eighteen to thirty-four year olds or you know fifty to sixty-five year olds. I think that's just. I think you have to look at these universal qualities that we all have right. and know that they extend and reach beyond age brackets. And just it's a matter of being human, being listening, having respect. I think it's. I think everybody wants to be respected yeah. and just knowing, knowing that. And I think you're once you have those kind of like values in your head, I think you're good to go. That's great. <laughs> Thank you for that, Zaid. It's been great hearing from you. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll hear from you soon again. Thank All you. Right. See you later. <laughs>